Hi, I hope that you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the rectangle that you see right in front of you. Uh, what is special about this rectangle is that it has two corners which are rounded and two corners which are sharp. So let's first start by creating a simple rectangle by selecting the rectangle tool and then dragging onto our document. And we get this nice little rectangle with sharp edges or maybe with not, sharp, uh, with not sharp edges, depending on your previous settings. So to give it a curvature, I'd press Control, I'd click on the small circle on top here, and I would drag it bottom. Now you see that we have created all four edges with a nice little curvature, but that's not what we want. So let's change that. So I select this rectangle. I'm going to go to Path, Object to Path. So now this is a path. Uh, how do you know it's a path? If you double click on the rectangle, you'd see these tiny nodes. And the path tool automatically becomes active because it's a path. So let's actually create, give it a sharp edge. Uh, to do that, you all you need to do is select these two external nodes and just press the delete key to delete these two nodes. Uh, strangely, it looks a bit odd, but we can fix that right now by selecting this tiny little handle that you see here, right, which which is coming out of your node. If you uh, pr press control key on your keyboard and then click on this handle, the handle goes back into this into the node. Same in the same way, if you press control key again and click on this handle over here, the handle goes back into this node. And that's how you get a nice little sharp edge on a rectangle that is rounded. The other thing you want to keep in mind is that if you're resizing this rectangle, right? So if you make it smaller like this, notice that the curvature changes and that might not be what you want to do. So if you want to resize this rectangle, always double click, uh, select the two nodes, select the, sorry, the two corners that have, you know, all the nodes. And then uh, if you want to move like horizontally, just click on, press the control key and then drag horizontally and you'd have uh, you'd be able to move your rectangle in a way such that you maintain the curvature of your corners uh, that's pretty much I had for this video I hope you guys enjoyed watching it thank you